you are an example of what is possible when, in the face of tragedy and in the face of hardship, good people come together to lend a hand. And brick by brick, block by block, neighborhood by neighborhood, you build a better future. President Obama today toured a revitalized New Orleans nearly 10 years after Hurricane Katrina ravaged that city. And even as the city is healing, the wounds for those on the front lines who were there right after the storms remain fresh. One of those men on the front lines was Dallas Police Major Andy Harvey. Now, when Katrina hit, he was with the Texas National Guard. Fox 4's James Rose has more on his role in restoring orders, order, uh, recovering bodies, and even really making a difference in New Orleans after Katrina. It was hard to believe that we were in the, in the United States. Dallas Police Major Andy Harvey is talking about his Texas Air National Guard response to Katrina in 2005. Yeah, it's definitely an opportunity to come out and help the folks of New Orleans. Then, a master sergeant, he still can't believe how a one-hour flight landed him in a very chaotic and different world. It looked like a third world country in some areas because of all the devastation. There was no light, no water. Uh, so when I think about that, it was so surreal. Their initial two-day deployment turned into 30 days, and their mission? Do you live around here? I live in the top of the I got an idea. You got an idea on it? Good, great. It went from restoring order to search and rescue and recovery. There's a lot of unknowns out there. The uncertainty, he recalls, was profound among his troops. I could see fear in our members' eyes. I could see it. As they rolled through the flooded streets of New Orleans, stench and despair filled the air. It's just stagnant water for the most part, garbage, spoiled food. But there are, there are a lot of bodies out there, too. Got any water? Despite the dark mission, Harvey and his men did make a difference. We were there two, three weeks in, still finding people trapped in their attics. And to be able to recover and, and to rescue them, to rescue them, uh, was, a, was a real blessing for us. And then that gave us a sense of purpose while we were there. So that, that sustained us, that motivated our, our members to go out there every day and go look for people that needed help. He still tries to reconcile the level of human suffering. The refugees from people in our own country, none of that made any sense to us. He, like most, hoped the lessons of Katrina will be remembered. If it happens again, we need to be ready for it. Hopefully it never, ever happens again. In Dallas, James Rose, Fox 4 News.